FBI director just risked everything to leak the one secret that will drain the swamp. Paris Swade for Liberty Writers News reports that it is a scandal when the media can't cover it up. It's an even bigger scandal when Obama's CIA director says that the Intel Committee needs to look into the Clinton dossier payments. And it's an even bigger scandal still when CNN covers it. Watch now as Obama's CIA director, Leon Panetta, is interviewed by Wolf Blitzer. Watch what he says. So it's very awkward. How could both the chair of the DNC and the Clinton campaign not know about these payments? Well, it's obviously something that uh, the Intelligence Committee is going to have to have to look at. Um, you know, uh, knowing uh, presidential campaigns, their big operations, and somehow the uh, left hand may not know what the right hand is doing. Uh, and that could be the case here. But uh, I really do think that uh, the committee is going to have to uh, get into this, uh, determine just exactly what happened, who knew what and when. But if the lawyer who uh, was representing the Democratic National Committee and the Clinton campaign, Mark Elias, is sitting next to John Podesta, he was asked, do you know about the funding? He says no. Wouldn't it be his responsibility to at least whisper in his ear, yes, yes, you, and tell him what was going on? So if he, if he wasn't lying, John Podesta, he would, ex he would be able to clarify all of that before, before the committee in a sensitive issue like this? Well, it certainly makes the situation very awkward. Uh, if you're testifying and saying you have no knowledge uh, and the attorney sitting next to you is one of those that uh, knew uh, what, uh, what was involved here, uh, I, I think it does uh, raise an issue that the committee is going to have to look at uh, and uh, determine just exactly who knew what. And they certainly will. Do you, do you realize what you just saw there? Okay, this is like this is like an unprecedented moment. First of all, CNN is reporting these facts. And now you have a former member of the Obama administration, Leon Panetta, the former CIA director coming out and saying there needs to be an investigation. Hillary is in such deep doo-doo that she is I mean, hey, I just I just can't believe what I'm watching here. I can't believe what I'm reporting. This is a great day in America. Three committees are now investigating these things. So this is the string that is going to pull at the sweater of lies that Hillary has built around Washington. And it's becoming increasingly apparent that Hillary paid for the intelligence on Donald Trump, the Russian intelligence. This needs to get out right now. This is a huge scandal. The Democrats are now dumping Hillary. CNN, Panetta, everybody is throwing her under the bus. Unprecedented, friends. Share this out and help bring down Hillary Clinton right now. The president wants to see this completed. There's still no evidence of collusion between the president and anyone. If any collusion took place, it would be between the DNC and the Clintons. And I think we're starting to now see that all of the things that the Democrats had accused this president of doing, they were actually guilty of themselves. It's a completely political undertaking designed to get people to talk about the only thing that unifies the Republican Party today, which is hating Hillary Clinton. Well, the president, the administration making the case uh, that the Russia investigation really should be about collusion with Hillary Clinton and the Clinton administration, the Clinton campaign, I should say. Uh, the president tweeting, it is now commonly agreed after many months of costly looking that there is was no collusion between Russia and Trump, was collusion with Hillary Clinton. One of those investigations is the Uranium One investigation where that FBI informant, uh, the gag order was just lifted. And I asked the attorney general about that and how it came to be. John Roberts has sources saying the president was involved in the discussion and pushed for that decision. Is that true? Well, I haven't talked to him about that. What I would say is Senator Grassley has been direct with us for some time. We work with Senator Grassley and are very happy to be able to approve uh, his uh, testimony before the Senate Judiciary Committee. But did Don McGahn, White House counsel, or his deputies call you or your people to say the president really wants this to happen? I have not talked to him about that, uh, but uh, I think it's a good thing that it's worked out, and I'm very pleased about it. 
So let's bring in our panel from the Washington Bureau, Charles Hurt, opinion editor for The Washington Times, Julie Pace, Washington Bureau Chief for the Associated Press, and Eli Lake, columnist for Bloomberg View. Okay, uh, Julie, you heard the Attorney General there on that one piece of the investigation. Your thoughts? Well, it's not surprising that the president would want this informant to be freed from a gag order, but it certainly raises questions anytime the president is getting involved with Justice Department business. I think that's why you saw Sessions trying to sidestep that question there. I mean, broadly, if you look at this week, this is a week where the Trump White House feels like they finally are able to go on the offense on the Russia investigations. They feel like this revelation that Democrats, the Clinton campaign and the DNC were involved in funding a, a section of this dossier after a Republican had started this off puts them on stronger footing. I do think it's really important, though, for people to remember that the reason the Russian investigations exist in the first place isn't because there was a dossier that was funded by opponents of Donald Trump. It, it exists because there was Russian interference in the election. And the special counsel investigation is, is there in part because of what we saw transpire around the, the Comey firing and the fact that you had to have Jeff Sessions recuse himself. So the dossier is important in the sense that it, it got a lot of attention and it's something that the, the FBI felt strongly enough about to bring to Donald Trump and to Barack Obama, but it's not the reason that the Russia investigations well, exist. Yeah, Charlie, I, the, the one thing we don't know, and I asked the Attorney General and he wouldn't go down this road, is whether the dossier was used for the FISA court or for the, the, the surveillance on the Trump campaign. And that's a, a, an absolute crucial question. And of course, Julie's right. The, the, uh, the, the dossier is not the reason for these investigations, but it does explain, I think, uh, all of the politics that we're seeing today. Uh, try to imagine that first meeting between Donald Trump and his and, uh, incoming president and his uh, FBI director, where his FBI director pushes across the table this dossier and says, listen, we have this, we know this about you, uh, we have this information on good authority. And the president of the United States is sitting there looking at the guy going, oh my goodness, this is my FBI director? And, that, and that's where their relationship began. And so when you go back to the fact that, that uh, Comey is ultimately fired, it's amazing that he, that he lasted as long as he did last. How he wasn't fired uh, upon taking office uh, is is uh, puzzling to me. Um, so I think that uh, you know I think that this dossier and, and all of the new information that's coming out about it really does it, it, it has flipped all of the scripts uh, in Washington. Uh, everything that the Democrats are saying yeah. now, they were, uh, Republicans were saying last week, and uh, vice versa. Uh, but I you know clearly we, it, there, we there's a lot more to, to, uh, that needs to be found out. The most important thing to me is was it the basis for those for, for using the, the, the government's powerful spying capabilities capabilities for, uh, to spy on a political opponent. Yeah, I always said in these panels, we don't know what we don't know. Eli, your thoughts? Well, I mean, I think that it's important in the following sense, which is that um, the, the big thing that uh, Bob Mueller and the Justice Department is going to be looking at is did anyone in Trump's orbit work with the Russians uh, to uh, distribute or use these stolen emails uh, during the election. And that's a serious matter. But one of the other issues that's become at least a political story, maybe something that's investigated, are the meeting that Don Donald Trump Jr. had with the Russian lawyer, um, efforts from uh, Republicans who are close, who are in the sort of Trump orbit, to find Hillary Clinton's um, deleted emails. Well, listen, it's a very simple question. If it's not okay for them to do it, then why is it okay for Democrats to work with a former British spy to then pay for information from senior Russian officials that's damaging for Trump? I mean, uh, one is reminded of that old expression about geese and ganders. Yeah. Really quickly, Julie, uh, this comes on a day when the administration is starting to move forward on Russia sanctions that Congress said was kind of dragging its feet on, but now it looks like they're moving forward. Yeah, look, the, the administration sometimes doesn't help themselves when it comes to the questions about Russia. There, there was this delay on the sanctions where you saw Republicans on the Hill, led by Bob Corker, the president's great friend these days, uh, really trying to push for the administration to, to follow through on what we saw uh, Congress implement earlier this summer. The administration now has done that. Uh, Congress is quite pleased that they're moving forward on this. But again, some of these delays you know, create these questions where the administration could really just help themselves a little bit more in their handling of these issues.